Hey y'all, so just wanted to check in with you. Today's Sunday, I don't know, Sunday the 17th apparently. And I wanted to share with you a bit of an experience that I had doing the three hole change on the old street glide here. Because uh, by the time I got back from Sturgis, she was about due, doing some tooling around. She came. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that, apparently my uh, battery is a bit deader than I thought. So as I was saying, I needed to get a oil change, full three hole change down the street glide before I took my youngest daughter down to college. Uh, it was down in a city called Ellensburg and it's uh, about 170-ish miles one way. So I wanted to make sure that I got that taken care of. So everything was going great, got up, all the fluids drained because I've heard the stories and I didn't listen and it finally happened. See if I can get around to this side here. These little bolts, the whole derby cover on, they're tiny. And I had one of the heads strip out. Fortunately, I was over at my brother's dad's using his lift table and he and I were, you know, having a good time, having a couple of drinks, getting it done. And when it stripped, fortunately he had what was needed. So we drilled it out with like a 532nd, hit it with an easy out and out it came. So, we did a little bit of redneck ingenuity and took a hex head bolt, that right pitch, almost the right length, trimmed off some length, popped it in there, made my ride the next day. And Sunday, well not Sunday, yesterday, Saturday, got out to the dealership and picked up a little bag of bolts. Let's see if I can get them out without spilling. Like five of them for a buck ninety nine, probably the cheapest thing I've ever found at Harley. So, yeah, it was just easier to to buy all five. Now I've got replacements. When it happens again, and I don't torque those bolts down. There's not a lot of bolts that I officially torque, but those ones I definitely don't because I know people are having trouble with them stripping out. In fact, you're supposed to crack all of those loose before you drain a single fluid, just in case. I know that. I didn't do that. Be better than me. So, just went and swapped out the hex bolt. I kept it, just in case. Got the Torx bolt in there, it's a T27, and done and done. But I don't have any other, I mean, I don't have any installs today, but my brother's bike, for those that watched the last video, two videos ago, something like that. The bike did get totaled, unfortunately. They're claiming there was some damage to the swing arm, some damage to the frame, and yeah, I think total bill came out to about 17 grand. So insurance said, <laughs> no. So he's uh, kind of loosely in the market for his replacement. We got an eye, well, we, he has an eye on two in particular. One's here in town, about to come up for sale. One's down in Colorado, I think it was. So the one in Colorado is still a brand new 22 Road King Standard. The other one is a 21 Road King Special in that snake venom color. Sexy bike. Uh, so he'll either go with one of those two options potentially or say screw it and wait till next year and buy something if he likes what comes out or say screw that and throw that money at his uh, 98 Softail Custom that he has. So all of which are great options. I'm interested to see what he chooses because either way we're making videos. <laughs> uh, but a, a buddy of mine did end up uh, getting hurt, dropping his bike about two and a half months back. Uh, amazing story. I'll have to fill you in on that when we get on location to his house. Because now that he's mostly mobile again, he's got some parts for his 17 Heritage that uh, he's agreed to let me come over and content in his garage. And we're going to be contenting all over the place. So... Uh, I know he's got a rear fender from Advan. I know he's got a saddleman seat. We, he's got to do new bars. And he did have the inch and a quarter versions of these. Uh, but just under this clamshell is a little cutout so you can run all your electrical through. The bar bent right at that, that cutout by probably three degrees. And it's, it's just not safe to, to straighten out and keep running. So it'll go up on the wall of shame. 
So he's ordered some new bars, um, also from Dominator, which is what his previous ones were, which are, both of mine are. And this time around, he's going inch and a quarter miter cut. So rather than coming up to a, a point, they're just going to come 90 degrees and down. So we got to get the old bars off, get them unwired, get the new ones wired, get those on. He's got to get new grips because one of them did shear since they didn't, they weren't up all the way. That's how I discovered that the gap that I did have here, that was like back here, it wasn't supposed to be there. This grip wasn't shoved all the way on. And I learned that because he had the same gap. So that's why his grip sheared off. So make sure that thing is shoved all the way up because obviously that bar supports the grip. But uh, and I know he's got new LED lighting, uh, front and rear, that we need to get in. That's just the, he, he's got the, I think the Sun Pie brand, same as what I've got on the Street Glide. Uh, just some cheap Chineseium stuff. But it, it does a great job. You know, it's better than the, the halogens that uh, Harley's still putting on everything. So, I mean, he's, he's got some stuff. He's, uh, he already did the install onto quick detach hardware for his saddlebags. He just hasn't quite finished it. So, you know, potentially we're looking at lights, bars, uh, quick connect bar saddlebag, uh, and a rear fender. Never done a rear fender. We gonna learn. So, that's all. I mean, quick and dirty. Just want to give you guys an update. Uh, what I learned on the Street Glide and a preview on some of the content that will be coming. You know, once my buddy's uh, a little less crutch free and my brother has uh, decided to do something with the money that he's going to get from the insurance. So, stay tuned. We got some fun stuff coming up and it doesn't have anything to do with either of my toys. So, we'll catch y'all next time. Later.